Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scouter. Today we're taking a look at the slab, a lever action 3D printed blaster. Let's get started. Before we get started, quick shout out to my friend who lent this to me. This is not actually mine. I don't have the budget for something like this. Um, apparently he does. So thank you to you. You know who you are um, for letting me do a video on this. All right, so jumping right into it, SLAB stands for Silly's Lever Action Blaster. That's who made it. Now, this is a 3D printed blaster, so all the colors are customizable. You can get this at a few different shops online. I'll put a few links in the description if you're interested in picking one up. However, they are quite expensive, retailing from around 200 to 250 USD, depending on where you get it and whether or not you have it pre-assembled for you. All right, now let's take a look at the blaster from front to back. Starting up at the front, there's a sling loop here that corresponds with the one on the rear. We have a foregrip here for you to rest your offhand while firing. Up top, we have a Picatinny rail. It comes with two iron sights. The magwell is flared and takes standard talon mags. It has a paddle style mag release for you to strike with your offhand thumb. Something to note about the lever is that when you're using it extensively, it becomes very painful on your knuckles because there's just no cushion inside of here. Now this can be remedied by putting some kind of cushion in there like foam or paracord. Moving back to the grip, the grip is 3D printed, although it is still very comfortable. And the stock, there's not too much to say about it. It's in a few different pieces, but is very sturdy and very comfortable. Now let's take it to the range and see how it performs. Here's some regular fire. Here's some worker Gen 3 darts at no angle, completely flat. As you can see, this blaster is very hard hitting. I wasn't even able to do angled shots with this because it would have gone over the fence. Now to my personal opinion, I really like this blaster. It is a very fun blaster to shoot and plank with. Now, the only downside to this and its biggest downside is its price tag. And I know that is going to turn a lot of people away, including myself. Now, I would recommend this to plinkers that are looking for something that's lever action and very accurate. It is a very specific category of people that would be using this. I don't see competitive nerfers using this just because it's lever action, it's not very fast to shoot, and you would need to modify the lever for it to be comfortable for any amount of sustained use. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you again to my friend who lent this to me. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.